This morning, Elon Musk announcing that for the first time, his company Neuralink has implanted a brain chip in a human. Musk saying the person is recovering well. Initial results show promising neuron spike detection. Neuralink's goal is to help paralysis patients communicate by connecting their brain to a computer. The device is designed to interpret your neural activity so you can operate a computer or a smartphone by simply thinking. People paralyzed from stroke, from traumatic brain injury, or a spinal cord injury could see the benefits. This would be a major game changer um, if it were to be proven to be safe and effective. The FDA approved Neuralink for human tests last May after years of testing on animals. Here's one electrode on one thread that when we stimulate causes a flexion movement of the leg. The company demonstrated the ability of its implants to stimulate movement. As you can see, Pager is amazingly good at mind pump. Allowing a monkey to play a video game. And what better reward for a monkey than a banana? Musk says the first human users will be people who've lost the use of their limbs. But speaking about the long term, he said, imagine if Stephen Hawking could communicate faster than a speed typist or auctioneer. That is the goal. I really do think that in my lifetime as a physician, I'll be able to use this type of technology to help my patients, and I cannot wait for that day to come. Neuralink's engineers aren't the only ones turning science fiction into reality. Researchers elsewhere help this man, paralyzed in an accident, walk again thanks to implants in his brain and spine. And in August, this woman, who had lost her voice to paralysis, was able to have a conversation with her husband again thanks to a mind-controlled avatar. Do not make me laugh. Experts warn much more testing and research is needed before any kind of widespread use of these devices. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechak Udash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone peace, and salutation to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. May Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rechak Wadash Brak Thumb to use the cornium, while Akimwa Guaf, you know, your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the hopeful elect out there laboring, keep it a commandment to the best of your ability, given diligence to make your calling and election sure, and of course, keeping faith in the Heavenly Father Yahweh and His beloved Son, our Lord and our Savior and our King, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach in these last days and these perilous times that we are living in. This is Brother Peshai Ban Yahshallah, and it's be a quick lesson through the Spirit and power. Of Yahweh Bashim al Shai on Elon Musk and the Neuralink has now begun human trials, man. All right, at the end it shall speak. You see that? And we believe through the spirit they've been, you know, putting chips inside the brains of human beings, okay? Um, but now they bring it to the public to ease the public into, you know, uh, this new technology. All right, which is, you know, brain chips. All right, neural links linking your nerves. All right, your nervous system with technology. And what is LMS calling this uh, project of his? I'm going to read this article I got lined up, right? It says, Neuralink implanted a device in a patient's brain, Ellen Musk says. The billionaire said his company's first product called Telepathy will let a person control a phone or computer just by thinking so we're going to be not too long straight to the point right currently outside the plantations of slack and background noise uh what we're going to get is book of Sex, uh thessalonians right second thessalonians 2 and we're going to get straight to the point right let's start at verse 8 it says and then it shall that a wicked be revealed so we in the time now of the wicked being revealed for who he is who is the wicked malachi the first chapter in verse 4 Esau edom all right, which is the so-called white man today. Start with the top bacon families, the elites on down. All right. It says, and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So who's the spirit of the Lord's mouth? That's the prophets. All right. Luke 1 verse 70, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which has been since the world began. So they're being consumed by our words. All right. That's why they want to make war with us in Revelation, Revelation the 12th chapter, verse 17. And, he, and the dragon was wroth with the woman 
and went to make war with the remnant of her seed who keep the commandments of the Mosiah and the, and the uh, testimony of Yahweh Shai. And what's the testimony of Yahweh Shai? The spirit of prophecy, Revelation the 19th chapter. Okay? So they're being consumed by us bringing out this truth. All right? They're being exposed on all sides. Okay? Because we see their plans and we're filtering it through the Holy Scriptures and breaking it down and bringing it out. They don't get down with this thing. That's the mark of the beast. All right. Read it on verse nine. Even him who's coming is after the is after the working of Satan. So they're coming is after the working of Shatan, the adversary, Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders. They may given that power. All right. Their power ultimately is in their sword, is in the technology. All right. So they've been given this ability to, you know, split atoms. All right, create atom bombs on down to nuclear bombs on hypersonic missiles. They've been created, uh, they've been given the power, the technology to put chips in people's brains to allow them to control more technology to create phones and computers. The scriptures literally say what? Knowledge should be increased. All right, but the thing is, the prophecy says what? I'm, I'm reading next. It says, in signs and lying wonders, it says, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And this cause, Yahweh shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. So the wicked of our nation who believe not the truth, all right, they love lies, all right? They're going to be deceived, all right? The most I'm going to send them a strong delusion, they're going to believe a lie. They're going to believe this thing right here is beneficial to them, all right? So this is how Esau is bringing it first. So it's like the, the bait trick. He's baiting them, all right? It's like the bait tactic, then they switch. He, they bait, then they switch. So right now they baiting you with, you know, those that's paraplegic, they can't walk. All right. Some, you know, are dumb. They can't speak. But now they can speak through technology, through AI. All right. Like they show in the video clips. I'm reading some of this article. Right. So what's going on is they're baiting you like that. Oh, that sounds very, uh, what's the word? Uh, not fortunate. It sounds convenient. That sounds very convenient, man. Those that couldn't walk, now they could walk again with this chip in their brain. Those that couldn't speak, they could speak to their loved ones through this device, which is through AI, all right, through the computer and through the uh, phones, all right? It sounds convenient, but guess what? Input, output, all right? If you're able to, you know, with your thought process, speak, all right, to your loved one through a computer, if you're able to just control phones and computers by just your thought, vice versa, You'll be able to be controlled by computers and cell phones. You'll be able to be controlled by the technology. Don't think it's just one-sided. No. Okay, if you could put thoughts into a, a computer device so your husband can see what you're thinking because you can't speak, all right, you best believe that someone could put thoughts into your brain through that computer. See, I remember um this dude, uh David Icke, which he a bug out with most of the things he brings out, but he brings out some points that have some truth to it. All right. Um, one of the things he mentioned was how the elites, their ultimate goal is to have everybody con uh, controlled and, and, and hooked to a global computer system. All right. So that's what you see happening right now. So this brain part that Ellen Musk is bringing out is the mark of the beast. It's the metapon in the forehead. All right. Which what's the, 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 the function of the brain right behind the forehead. Is the um the frontal lobe? My family look it up again, right? Let me look this up. Let me look this up. All right. Uh, the brain function directly behind the forehead, right? And let's see what they say. Yeah, the frontal lobe. Is the most anterior front part of the brain. It extends from the area behind the forehead back to the percentual uh, gyrus as a whole. The frontal lobe is responsible for higher cognitive functions such as memory, emotions, impulse control, problem solving, social interaction, and motor function. Now, the word frontal lobe is where you get the Hebrew word lob or, yeah, yeah lob from. Was lab literally means uh, the heart or your mind. All right. So you're giving this devil direct control of your heart, your mind. You see? 
That's the forehead part, meta pawn. Meta means to what? Change. All right. When you look at the word meta, it literally means to change, which I'm a, well, I could have showed it. Let me see. Meta meaning. All right. It says of creative work referring to or referring to itself or the conventions of its genre self re, uh, referential. Let me see. Let me just look this word up, right? Metamorphosize. You know, as you get the word metamorphosize. All right, meaning they get the etymology on here, right? Because they break down a word a little better. All right, boom. So you got the word, the word metamorphosized derives from the ancient Greek, which means a transformation, transforming from the meta after. Let me see what else it says. All right, click the rest of this. Let me jump down. Etymology. Yeah, meta after and um, morphe form. All right, after form, form after. All right, so that's where you get the word meta from. It also, it goes to you know after or change. You see that? So that's why they change it to the uh, Facebook and Instagram to to metaverse. All right, why did Elon Musk change Twitter to X? You know, you have SpaceX, X, um, um, disease X. All right, all these X's, which is sixes, 666. Six, six. And also, X, we go into uh, Kai Stai Stigma. All right, let me look up uh, Stigma. Stigma. It's a lucky. Let me see what pops up. All right, the spirit is on me just going to this, man. All right, Stigma Greek letter. Let me see what it looks like. All right, this one looks like an S. It resembles like an S. I think it's Kai. You know, uh, we got to go to Revelation. I may have to read Revelation, all right? Which I will read Revelation, 13th chapter, right? We're going to go over this a, a, a billion times. It doesn't matter because this prophecy is speaking, all right? It's speaking, man. Uh, I clicked the wrong one, all right? And like I said earlier, I'm doing a lesson outside. Start the plantation, so slide for any noise in the background. Yeah, yeah. So when you look up Kai Stai Stigma, you know, um, uh, Kai resembles in that X, six hundred. All right. So that's that six, that vibration of six. All right. And you go into Stigma, it goes into that that brand. All right. It goes into that uh, mark pricked or branded upon the body. All right. To ancient Oriental uses, slaves and soldiers bore the name or the stamp of their master or commander, branded or pricked, cut into their bodies to indicate what master or gender they belong to. Right now, I'm reading um the word for stigma from the Book of Revelation, 13 chapter, verse 18. When you look up the interlinear of Kai Stai Stigma, 603 score and six. When you look that up in the Greek, okay, that's what I'm reading right now. I don't read this the scripture, which I'm gonna read in a minute, right? But I just want to read the definition right fast. It's a cut into their bodies to indicate what master or gender they belong to. So you're giving your mind, your lobe, your lob, your heart to Esau when you let him put a fucking chip in your brain. All right. It says, uh, and you're basically, you know, uh, it will be known who you belong to when you do those, do these things. So the, the, whoever did that first human trials, public human trials. All right. Those that made it public, they didn't, they've been doing it behind closed doors, but they belong to Esau Edom. All right. They has creation. It says, and there were even some devotees who stamped themselves in his way with the token of their gods. All right. Esau wants to be God. He wants to be the most high. It says for recognition of ownership, your own by Esau Edom. It's a stick, i.e. prick, a mark, and sit and sizzed, or punched. So you get a hole puncher. It punches inside. So you have to go do surgical to put that thing inside of you, man. And it's a robot that does the, sur the, the surgery, not even a human. So this whole thing is all satanic. All right. I'm going to hold release the 13th chapter. Let's read some of this article, then we'll um, get some more precepts. So it says, the billionaire said his company product called telepathy, which t tele goes back to the word, uh, it goes, it means like a distance, all right? Like a distance, they get the word telephone, I think phone means sound, sound, tele, distance, sound from a distance, all right? Talk to someone from a distance, you know, send them sound waves from a distance. So telepathy 
All right, which what does pati mean again? I believe pati means feelings. That's what it means. It means feelings. All right, I think it's good. Let me see what word it goes. Let me look up the uh, etymology. Like I said, etymology, we're breaking down the words, man. Yeah, go by the pathos, meaning suffering or disease that serves suffix in many terms, including my pathy, muscle disease. All right, it says literally suffering together. Pathy, that's what pathy means. Let me see. Uh, Phil, okay, Kikan. So we look up word form and element of Greek origin meaning. Is what does pathy mean in latin it says feeling suffering emotion disorder disease all right so it goes through these different things all right in this case I mean like a feeling all right telly all right a distance feeling feeling from a distance so you'll be able to tell your feelings from a distance without even physically saying or doing anything all right so that's what they want they want control over you ultimately your emotions your feelings you see so go back to the article the billionaire said his company's first product called telepathy will let a person control a phone or computer just by thinking. Neuralink, a company working to develop computer interfaces that can be implanted in human brains, placed its first device in a patient on Sunday, said its founder, Elon Musk. Mr. Musk, the billionaire chief executive of Tesla and SpaceX, said on, Sun on Monday that the company's first product was called telepathy and would allow a human to control a phone or computer just by thinking. And I mentioned earlier, they'll be able to control that person as well through the computer, through the phone. All right. Initial users will, will be those who have lost the use of their limbs. Mr. Mouse wrote, I just read this precept in the, the Lion Wonders. There are miracles on the left-hand side. All right. In a series of posts on X, his social media platform, which used to be Twitter, Imagine if Stephen Hawking could communicate faster than a speed typist or auctioneer. All right. So I remember the brother Aliyah, he sent me this article, not this specific one, but he sent me the, um, the day this happened, which I forgot the exact day this all took place. January 29th, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Right now it's January 31st. And a lot of brothers, some of the apostles, elders on down, been going to this, this topic. All right. So, yeah, the rest of the article, I can't even link it because they got this whole, you know, verify yourself and shit. So just look this up, Ellen Musk. Uh, just look up Ellen Musk implanted a device in patients' brains. Of Ellen Musk telepathy project, whatever case may be, right? Like I said, not too long. This is you know uh, uh, what's the word? This is breaking news. All right, this is a breaking news video through the spirit. This is the fulfillment of the prophecy released through Chapter Sixteen, which uh, they're just getting your mind prepared for it because they're about to come down with that wrath. So any given moment, man. There's no time is about to speed up. All right. Time is about to speed up drastically. Literally, verse 13 and verse um, 15. And he had power to give life into the image of the beast. The image of the beast is going back to the Roman Empire and it's been revived, be reborn. Or further up in this chapter, we start up some. It goes into their deadly wound being healed. It has been it was healed through the Renaissance. All right. So right now we're in the um, fourth leading to the fourth industrial revolution. All right, that was his own uh, revolution at that that era of technology and advancement and art, right? And inventions. It says so now on down to today. This it leads it to America. All right, this system today that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So they're gonna literally put people to death, but they also out make you outcast society. They could kill your image. They could kill what you stand for. All right, they can make you an outcast. Verse 16, and he, who's the he, Esau Edom, the elites on down, the beast, the beast, the system. And he calls of all, the word for cause is poeo, which means the fashion of make ready. Cause of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, peep that, there's no middle class, it's either rich or you're poor. So the whole pan pandemic, what they did was push out the middle class. It says, to receive a M-A-R-K, which the word there for mark is a karagma. All right, which literally means uh, like a, a brand upon horses. All right, uh, etching, a cutting. All right, an incision. All right, the root word for the karagma is uh, karax, trax. Which you looked up, trax so goes like a palisade, and that's like a sharp tool used to, you know, be uh, plucked into the earth, which resembles a syringe, which is what the uh, the delivery system of them putting the, the chip in you. Then the root word for to rocks is grapho which means the writings which is your data your background all right your uh, id your wallet all your information all right 
in the right hand or in their foreheads. The word for foreheads is metapon. All right, space between the eyes. It was between your eyes, your forehead, your, your frontal lobe was, was, was deals with motor function. It deals with feelings, emotions, memories. They want to control you, man. Your nerves, man. All right. They call it the, the cerebral uh, uh, cortex, if I'm not mistaken. I think. Let me look that up. Let me look that up. The cerebral cortex. Let me, look, let me see if I can find that. Look this up. Yeah, the cerebral cerebral cortex is your brain's outmost outermost layer. It's responsible for memory, thinking, learning, reasoning, and problem solving. You know? So they want, they want to control everything about you, man. You see that in your foreheads. Metapon. Alright. It says, and that no man might buy or sell, so you won't be able to be a part of society. You won't be able to have a business. You won't be able to buy things, use currency, because the currency can be the, you know, the CHIP thing in your hand and in your forehead they showed that in the movie i forgot the name of it but they had them skin in their foreheads too to get beer and wine all right and we relation the 14th chapter says hand and we, we read Revelation the 20th chapter it goes to hands so don't gotta just be your right it could be both all right one second um brothers So verse 17 again, it says that no man might buy ourselves if you that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and six. Kai Stai Stigma, 666. And that's, that's this devil's number, man. It's in a world economic number forum. All right. It's in on Walt Disney. It's in the barcodes and everything you scan. All right. So the judgment on taking this thing, Revelation 14, chapter verse nine, it reads... And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his karagma in his forehead or in his hand, the same. So that's the solidifying factor that you're down with this beast system is taking the, the karagma. All right. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Once he said, it's like a death, the nuclear missile, you're going to melt. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and its image, and whosoever received the mark of his name. Okay, because that, that's gonna be your, your uh memorial. You're gonna be known for that. Oh, you want to the, 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 the karagma, man. All right, it'll be a stain on you. You see that? For a long duration of time. All right, and you will burn for a long period of time as well. Verse 12, here is the patience in the, in the, of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh and the faith of Yahweh Shai. All right. So this devil is bringing it, man. So let's get 2 Corinthians 2, uh, 2 and 11. Right. And it reads, Lest saints should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Man, we're watching all his, his, his devices, his, his plans, things he's doing in these last days. We're watching this devil, man. So we know something about to go down because they're going to make this mandatory. And they're not going to just get, they're going to, they, they have a plan to call the earth, depopulate the earth. And those left, they want to chip in their brain and their hands and fully control them. So the most I going to let them set it up to some degree, but the Lord has a remnant that's not going to take this thing. All right. And he has a remnant he's going to save in these last days, deliver from the second death, deliver from the famine, deliver from all these things, man. All right. So that's when he's going to send Yahweh Shah back at Mr. World 3 when it gets nuclear to deliver the elect. And that's a wrap for Esau's kingdom. Okay. So this devil got them evil plans. Let's end it off as uh, Psalm 64. All right. Psalm 64 and verse 5. They com they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of and snares privately. They say, who shall see them? So they have they have evil plans they do in private. And they think no one sees their plans or knows what they're really doing. They search out iniquities. They accomplish the diligence in search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and a the heart is deep, but the most eye shall shoot a thumb with an arrow and suddenly shall they be wounded, man. Arrows going to the missiles. Because after the missiles get shot off, that's the end of their plans. All right, because they let, like I mentioned, they let them get delivered from that. Then shortly after, when they let come back down, you just come down from heaven. That's it. All right, a righteous world regime will be established, man. All right. And let's give Job. Let's end up with Job 20. All right. 20 and 22. Yeah, I read this. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. 
every hand of the every hand of the wicked shall come on him, or come upon him. I heard the word for wicked goes into the laborers. All right. So he gonna have a lot of backlash bringing forth his new world order. When he is about to fill his belly, when he's about to fully establish it, it says the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. You see that? So verse 24, he shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel shall strike him through, man. All right. So he going to get destroyed when I lose the Most High God, Yahweh, send back Yahweh shot. All right. So he's going to cast his fury upon his devil and rain it upon him while he's eating, while he's, you know, enjoying a little bit of his NWO. Like, okay. Think things going to plan then boom that's it he's done all right so just let the devil bring this thing forth man all right most i'm gonna let him fully establish it this was you know breaking news all right so look these things up stay in the loop through the spirit man and don't get down this thing whatsoever man if you let yourself put a chip in your brain you're gonna get put to death by y'all by shimao shai with that i'm gonna give all honor glory and infinite praises to the heavenly father yahweh bahasham yahweh shai Bahasham, Rechak, Rudach, giving double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, peace, and salutation. See, like Scott of the broad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Without him, see Shalom. Wah, ba, 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 Shalom.